Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently working towards feudalization and once we get there things are going to get a lot better for us. We're going to have a lot of additional things that we can do at that point. Unfortunately for us, we're a long ways away from it right now. We need to have 75% of the tribal innovations here. We have 5 out of 23. <laughs> <laughs> now, to be clear, a lot of these are cultural and regional, and we we can't get these down here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that we cannot get down over here. So we're really at more like five out of 15. So we're at about a third. We need to be at 75% though. So we're a ways on quilted armor and barracks and currency. So we have three that are decently far along. The others are not at all. Of course, increasing our development will increase the speed at which that comes, but very slowly. Very, very, very slowly. So it's going to be a while. We are going to have to continue our conquests out over here in the meantime. I would really like to get the Empire of Guinea. At this point, we need eight counties. Okay, so if we were to attack Yerubalant, hypothetically, I suspect that we can't do this right now. But if we were to do this right now, hypothetically, this would end up being like a kingdom invasion. This would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We would need a thousand prestige for that. Okay, well, there's not a lot of things we can do to earn prestige while we're a child. The good news is we're about to come of age in like two months. So that is really, really good. That's also very helpful for our domain limit, which will be going up above seven at this point. So that is absolutely noted. And there we come of age. Excellent. So we became a fortune builder and that seems absolutely fine. So we're at seven of eight domain. That's fine. We can definitely make use of that after we get feudal, at least for now. So now that we come of age, we can end our entrenched regency. And this is going to be a problem. He'll not accept this if we offer nothing. What if we offer any of these? Yeah, he's not going to accept any of this. Step one, we're going to work on swaying him. Step two, we need to get ourselves a spouse. So we have too few spouses right now. We can definitely find someone who would be, I kind of want to say a good military leader. Like this guy. It'll not result in an alliance, but that's okay. We want him to be a good military leader here. This will apparently be minus 400 prestige, which is definitely not great. But we'll send that proposal. And we can grant some vassals off to rightful lieges as well. And we're going to do that to all of these. Because these guys absolutely need to have these for opinion purposes. Okay. So that seems fine for the moment. Next, we're going to need to hand out some council positions. So this guy can be our chancellor, and this guy can be our spy master. So they're a lot happier now. Let's check in on the opinion of our regent, which I believe is this guy. Minus 58 currently. Yeah, okay. So he's a minus 58. I'm going to swing the scales against him probably. Maybe not at this moment. Okay, he definitely won't accept this right now. How many reasons does he have not to do this? Our court grandeur is minus 100 reasons. Okay, we can definitely work up our court grandeur. So that is something that we do right in here. And we would go into our court grandeur. And we can bump up to last century fashion, bland food, some servants, and some lodgings. So that'll boost up our court grandeur as far as we can, which isn't super far, right? We're lacking... No. We're not lacking sneezing. Thank you very much. What we are, in fact, lacking is feudalism. So this is the best that we can do for our amenities for now. So that'll start working up our court grandeur somewhat. Now, what is our expected court grandeur? Our expected level of court grandeur is... Somewhere. For sure. Our legitimacy is currently at three of five, and we're expected to be at four. So we're going to need to work our legitimacy up a little bit. It's currently 851.75, and we need to have a thousand. 
So we need 150 legitimacy. What can we do about that? Well, we can create titles. We can usurp this high chiefdom, but usurpations gain us prestige. They do not gain us legitimacy. But we can still do that, and that'll be fine. This title will need to be granted out to, well, this guy. So we'll grant that title over here. We'll show that recent title. There we go. I mostly only did that for the prestige. Next up, we can... We still have too few spouses. Oh, we can have multiple spouses? No, we haven't actually gotten married yet. Okay. <laughs> That's absolutely okay. So no major problem there right now. There we go. So now we've gotten married, and this guy, we're going to have be doing, like, chivalry. So he'll boost up our marshal. That'll be absolutely fine. Next up. We have no lifestyle chosen here. A stewardship lifestyle would be interesting here, but I'm actually kind of thinking... I, I took stewardship to get enough domain limit, which we have. What I'm interested in doing here is potentially going for scholarship focus here. This will boost up our development growth and, most importantly, our learning. So we can grab that. And then from there, we can go to, like, scientific to get cultural fascination progress. And start working on getting caught up in tech. So that seems good. This guy is raiding us, which seems mildly ambitious. I'm going to raise up our men-at-arms only here, and we're going to go in and attack him as soon as we can. This guy is already doing it. Okay, he actually lost. He got stack wiped. But there we go. We are going to get 75 prestige here, and we are going to, of course, disband our troops. So, at this point, we're at 379 prestige. And we have come of age at this point. We could promote a legend. I'm not sure we want to. There is this legend seed. But our level of devotion is too low to seed that legend. And that is absolutely fine. So what else do we want to do here? Well... We want to have our development come up for sure. This is at 3.1 at this point. Okay, that's actually very good. So our development in our capital is currently at 10. We can look at the overall development here. We've definitely made good gains on that. And we can see the development of our capital is currently at the highest point almost in the realm. This is at 11. Out over this way, this is 9. Okay. So our capital is almost maxed out, but we'll, well, not maxed, but the highest in the realm. Unfortunately, Walada is a little bit higher, but that's fine. We'll definitely get caught up. We're making good progress there. If we check in on, say, La Raba, we can see that this is growing by 0.7 per month. That means that it's going to take a very long time for that development to grow, but that is understood. The development will just slowly spread from our capital in a kind of snowball effect, and that is indeed exactly what we want. So now, as far as Yorubaland goes, how much do we need to do this kingdom invasion? Well, our level of fame is too low, and we need a lot more prestige. So I think that the answer here is probably that we want to hold a grand tournament. So let's plan this grand tournament. This will be held in our capital, almost certainly. And we'll just add in a recital contest. We can actually take part in that, which is, you know, convenient. And we will continue here. And then we'll, of course, have a champion. This guy is a very bad champion. Maybe we don't have a champion. And we would have luxurious encampments as well as splendid prizes. But only the one contest, with our intent being triumph. So that'll be fine. No problem in theory there. We'll start this grand tournament. We're currently not qualifying, and the tourney grounds will open in 20 days. But this is going to get us quite a lot of prestige. There's no time to lose, indeed, and the tourney grounds are now open. So we could lose some stress. Our score could increase moderately. We could win a bet. I want our score to increase, because now we're guaranteed to qualify. Next up, we could head over to the temple. 3, 2, 1, 0. There we go. And 50% chance of our score going up. But I think our score is good enough. At this point, we're going to work up our piety a little bit. That'll be fine. Next up will, of course, be the tourney grounds. There we go. And what do we want here? We could become the owner of favor of a lord. That would get us some renown and some fertility. Or we could focus on the match and get some prestige and our score would go up. Done. 
absolutely wonderful. So we're going to head to the temple next in about 10 days. And what do we got here? Hmm. Arrest them. We're going to get more piety. And we're going to be able to... When is the tourney going to begin? Six days? Okay, we can't go anywhere else. So that seems absolutely fine. It is time to show the world our skill. We'll see if we manage to succeed this. Hmm. 39% chance of our score winning the crowd. The odds are the same either way, so let's choose not to get the stress here. But our score is probably going to go down. Actually, it went up a little bit. Hmm. We could say, behold free coin, or look a three-headed monkey, or our score would go down. Yeah, I don't want our score to go down. 25 gold is acceptable. We'll throw gold at the crowd. What else do we have going on here? Apparently someone is trying to steal our artifact. That's very rude. 40% chance of our score going up. 47, 40, 19. We'll take the 47. One last verse. Our score increases greatly. We may have succeeded, and indeed we did. Fantastic. So we end up winning that. That is absolutely great. And because we're the host, of course, there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. It was perfect. <laughs> we're also an iambic virtuoso, which is very handy. And we're going to be, uh, well, perhaps a few words, given that we're the host. Yeah, excellent. We got the prestige from that as well. And we'll finish our grand tournament. We won a prize ring, and that is absolutely fantastic. So I believe we can equip the prize ring here. Yeah, so we get some prestige out of that. Men at arms maintenance reduction, only with gold, though. The architecture of trade is here, and we should probably repair that. What other trinkets are we interested in equipping here? Well, we've got a couple of lord favors. We could also get diplomacy and piety. That seems not bad. And this would get us a small amount of prestige per month. We might be better off getting the renown per month, though. Okay. We do have a weapon that we can equip, and that'll be fine. But we don't have anything in any of these slots. That's all okay. Not too concerned about that. Let's check in on our royal court here real quick. We do have a throne that we can equip, and we'll definitely do that. We have a large wall ornament that we can put up. If we fulfill the requirements. What requirements? Oh, we have to belong to the House of Cease. Which, of course, we do not. And that means that we'll put this guy up. And that'll be fine. But I do want to head in here and destroy these artifacts. We'll get 40 gold for each one. We are not going to ever utilize those. So that seems fine. We can also put up a book here. That'll be... The Art of Love would be fine here. That'll get us some prestige and intrigue lifestyle experience. Not like we need that. We can repair that, and that'll be okay. Over here, we can definitely put in a statue. 0.12 prestige per month. Not bad. Out over this way, we can put in court politics. 0.01 prestige per month. And here, we can equip a mysterious lamp. So a little bit more prestige per month. That'll be absolutely fine. So now, I want to take a look at this guy. He's at minus 30. Okay, we're still below legitimacy expectations, which is expected. That's, a, that's minus 10. How close would he be to leaving based on this? 46% chance, or minus 46. Okay, that is noted. We're going to continue to sway him. We need to get our legitimacy up. So the kingdom of Borgu, we will create. That'll gain us 50 legitimacy. The kingdom of Gurma will create. That'll get us another 50 legitimacy. So that puts us at a legitimacy of four. So now we're at our desired legitimacy. That is very good. We can continue to work up our legitimacy. Rank five is the most, and that's another 500 legitimacy away. That's quite a lot of legitimacy. Let's be honest. Popular opinion of plus 10. Okay. Well, at this point, I want to take a look at the King of Ghana. He's now at plus 43 opinion of us. And his loyalty is now situational, instead of self-interested. Fascinating. Only a 10% chance of not accepting this. So, I'm going to send him a gift. That'll get 35 opinion. He's now at plus 78. He is now selfless. And now he has a 48% chance of acceptance, but a 100 if we just throw 225 gold at him. Get out of here. No more regency. 
fantastic. So the Regency is over. That, of course, drops us down to seven of six domain. That is very sad. Hmm, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that at all. We could move our husband off of chivalry. He was not chosen for managed domain, but that would get us up. So that would be okay. And at this point, I would like to attack Yerubaland. Do we have enough to actually do this? The answer is no. We're not exalted among men just yet. So we need a bunch more prestige for that. Specifically, 1,700 prestige. That's a lot of prestige, but we can create the Duchy of Jolop, which we'll do. And that will go de jure to the top level liege here, which is actually this guy. And we'll grant him the Duchy of Jolop. I'm not granting out these kingdom titles as of yet, but we can transfer this guy on over. Okay, we can create this. That will, of course, work up our legitimacy, but it's a little bit more important at this point. Uh, that would go to the King of Akan. So we would grant this title over here, the Duchy of Gyaman. There we go. It's more important that we're getting the prestige at this moment. So these, this is 300 prestige for each of these that we're making. So that is a decent amount. This is Wooly. Okay, that will go to the highest level liege here, which would be this guy. Or rather, the highest level vassal. And we would grant that title over here, not the Kingdom of Borgu, the Duchy of Wooly. Perfect. So he now holds that, and we could demand his conversion. He has a 41% chance of acceptance. We may as well try it. We'll create this duchy. That'll be right down over here. You report directly to us? Okay. So we'll grant you the duchy of Casa, but I'm also going to negotiate release as long as you convert. He will not actually, that's not an option. We could gain a hook. I guess that's okay. So he's actually the correct religion. So we just have a hook on him. I guess that's fine. I should have left him in prison, to be honest. We can still create the Duchy of Crew, and we're going to do exactly that. That goes right down over here, okay? This goes directly to this lady, the Duchy of Crew. Perfect. We can grant some vassals over to Rightful Liege, and we're going to do exactly that. Already considering a proposal? Okay. It was that guy. Sure. And he did convert, so that is great. That was absolutely worthwhile, then. Cool. So next up, we need a new steward. That is going to be this gentleman. Cool. So we're going to continue to work increasing our development here. We're currently at 10 and going up by two per month. So that's gone down a decent amount. Presumably our steward is worse at the job. That's fine. We're currently very close to exalted among men, but we didn't quite get there, sadly. So we could also potentially target Houseland. This is a kingdom tier realm as well. I want to check these claimants real quick. This guy would not come to our court, and you are then children. Who's this guy? Hmm. He is the player heir. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, let's take a look at Houseland over here. Anybody who's willing to... Hang on a moment. Potentially. Minus 30, minus 20... Minus 30, minus 30, minus 30, minus 45, 35. These are not all that far away. So I believe it was this guy who was the minus 20. I'm going to send him a gift to boost up his opinion of us by 50. And now he likely will come. Hmm. Still minus 15. His opinion of us is plus 25. That's not going to come up much more. I'm a little surprised about that. I guess it's because of our lodging standards. It's not the greatest, right? And that's because we're tribal. So we can't really bring up our lodging standards any further. I'd love to be maxing them out, but for now, that's as good as we can get. Our court grandeur is going to be improving over time. So I guess we can't actually attack Houseland, which makes me very sad. I mean, we could. We could definitely do like a, a duchy claim here. We could take the duchy of Dendi, which really that would just be a singular county. And we can't subjugate yet because we've already waged a subjugation war in this lifetime. So that is definitely a bit of a problem. We could go after this guy, though. That's just a single county. You know what? I'm going to do it. It's going to get us some amount of fame, not necessarily prestige, but some fame to do this. You know, we really don't need all of these forces. 
We really, really don't. We're just going to raise up our men-at-arms, and inward we go. Fantastic. We're pregnant, and that is a good sign. That is definitely a good thing to have an heir. No doubt about that. Inward we go here. There's an independence faction. Okay. And apparently, we are in love with this kid. We're going to set aside these childish thoughts. That's uh, not a great thing for us. So how much fame are we going to get out of this battle? Some... Yeah, we gained a level of fame. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted there. So 189 fame gained. Now we can go to our chancellor here and put in a new chancellor. We're going to need to wrap up this war before we start our big war. But that'll be fine. There's a disillusion faction. Hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. How's that Arabian Empire doing? Okay. Hi, France. Noted. We're definitely very powerful. We're the superpower in our region, for sure. We are a regional regional power, for sure. We're not really able to push beyond our region at this point, but very soon, we're in a, an excellent position at this point. No doubt about that. We're going to be able to spread like a plague at this point. And uh, not the plagues that we've been experiencing thus far. I'm talking like Black Plague. So we had a son that gained us 75 prestige. That's convenient. And apparently we can gain parental determination. Okay. Yeah, our parents passed away while we were still young and we're upset about that. We will not abandon our son. Excellent. So that'll bump up our stress a little bit. No problem. That's a cool event, actually. I like that one. And we'll enforce those demands and disband those troops. We could hold this ourselves, but what is the point? We're going to grant that out to a noble. Excellent. So now we have a border with Sahara, and that's amazing. But we, of course, want to attack Yorubaland. This is who we want to take over because this will allow us to create the Empire of Guinea, which will, of course, give us access to all of this territory out over here. And we'll be able to start breaking into Canaan Bornu fairly soon. Although we're not quite to that point yet. So let's attack Yorubaland here, and we want to invade the kingdom of Yorubaland. These other kingdoms are irrelevant to our desires. So we're just going to declare this war, and we'll raise up our forces right on down over here. These are already occupied by something. So that's noted. Hmm. That is a lot of gold for a zero-year-old kid. 60 gold? <laughs> well, he's going to be our heir, so we'll get that gold back when we inherit. You know what? We'll take it. We'll make that as like a long-term investment that's not going to pay off in the slightest. <laughs> I like it. Let's station besiegers here, and we're going to head off over this way. I want to stack wipe their army. Excellent. We are going to take attrition here, and that is understood. But we're going to head in here. And fantastic. They are now stack wiped, or probably stack wiped. Yes, they are indeed. And we'll station besiegers here and make our way into their capital. This is stationing just levy troops, correct? Correct. Looks good. Okay, so we're just going to sit on their capital for the time being. There's a schemer discovered. Very rude. He actually lost legitimacy because his scheme was discovered. Fascinating. So our current legitimacy is not as high as I'd like it to be, of course. We'd like to be at legitimacy level 5, but 4 is good enough. We did just lose our steward to heart failure, and we'll put this guy in there. He is, I think, a little bit better at stewardship, so that is good. Well, let's wrap this up. We, of course, stack wiped their army, so we're capped at battle war score. This is not going to get any higher. But we'll just get these sieges complete. They could walk around this way and threaten these forces. And I think that's exactly what they're planning to do. So I'm going to station besiegers here. And we're going to walk over this way. We'll take attrition again. That's understood. And we're just going to group these guys together. He's actually heading down this way. Which is intriguing. He's trying to counter siege. That's not a good thing to do. These guys could potentially attack here. They're not doing it. Okay, get on up over here. Looks good. This war's pretty over. 
and I would like to fight these guys before the war is over and make back some of the prestige that we spent on this war. It costed us a thousand prestige to declare this war, keep in mind. So we're going to catch these guys, and we're going to hop over this way with this horse. There we go. We're at 78% right now. Hmm. Vindictiveness, huh? Serenity or humbleness? Either way, we are going to gain some piety. Most likely. What is he actually? He's hideous. He's a mystic, an insightful thinker, gluttonous, just, and generous. So he'd probably like, like, serenity or humbleness. We'll go with serenity. He was pleased. Okay. So that seems good. We gained a level of devotion there. We can head in and start a siege here, which we'll ob obviously do. This may end the war, but I don't think it will. 97? Okay. We're occupying their capital, but we need to get a little bit further here. We also captured her. Who is the regent? No, who isn't, who, who she's the regent for. Okay, very strange. We're 97% war score here, and we just need to let this siege end. That will end the war and get us the entirety of this kingdom. That will, of course, get us the Empire of Guinea, which we'll be delighted to construct. That will, of course, be a bit of a problem on succession, potentially. But we'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. There we go. This territory is ours, and we don't want to hold it personally. So we'll grant this all out. There we go. Something along the lines of this. And now we're going to create this empire title. So that'll gain us 75 prestige, or rather 75 legitimacy. There we go. That'll do. So we are now a double emperor. Or I guess a double empress. So that is absolutely wonderful. And it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue our expansion out this way for right now. I would very much like to start breaking into Kanem Bornu. We can start breaking into Maghreb as well fairly soon. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Kentogan, Ali Lee, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time. And I just happened to check our military here. Take a look at this. We can bump our Guinea and Uplanders up to size 9. Let's do that right now. See you all next time.